Last Chance Kitchen is back. Ready to get started? Some of the fiercest competitors from 16 seasons have returned to Top Chef to settle unfinished business. The title of Top Chef, that's what I'm here for. For most, their culinary dreams will end sooner than planned. Please pack your knives and go. In Last Chance Kitchen, Top Chef All-Stars battle for a shot at redemption and a return to the competition. Woo! Time's up. Tonight, is Joe still feeling the pain from being the first chef cut? I didn't come back to Top Chef to go home first. Can he handle the pressure and focus his execution? Or will Angelo's ability to stay calm in the kitchen give him the edge he needs? What's shaking? Oh, you know, just doing too many things like I always do. <laughs> <laughs> this is Last Chance Kitchen, created with BMW. This is my shot. This is redemption. I want to prove to myself, to everyone out there, that I should not have been the first one eliminated. Hey, chefs. Chef. How are you? Welcome to Last Chance Kitchen. Hey, chef. Sasto versus Sosa. Italian showdown. An Italian throwdown bro down. It's never easy being the first to go. How are you guys handling this? Rejuvenated. 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 Anxious. Okay. What I love about Last Chance Kitchen is it's a means of redeeming yourself. Not only to win, but I also want to show my son Jacob Elias, you know, who's gone through so many challenges and obstacles. I want to be that example for him. Just believe in yourself and believe in your dreams. I'm looking forward to this. I feel pretty positive. So what do you think of the competition? Uh, I think it'll definitely be a challenge, because neither one of us have ever been to LCK before. I was going to say that. No, this is the first time for both of you. Right, so we have no idea what this to expect. We've had three winners of Top Chef that actually came through Last Chance Kitchen, so anything is possible. Okay, anything cool. Is possible. Right. Ready to get started? Let's do it. Yes, Chef. Okay, let's go. Follow me. All right. What? Where the heck are we going? Who's driving? I'm driving. Where are we going? I'll let you know when we get there. <laughs> hey, BMW, take it to my friend Mike's. OK, guidance starting. My mind is racing a little bit, but I definitely want to be calm and just see what the challenge is going to reveal. So we're going to your buddy Mike's? Go to my buddy Mike's, exactly. I'm a bit of a curious kitten. You're going to Providence? Hey, Michael Vitaggio, huh? No. No, I think you guys got it. Yeah, we got it right. Time. It's yeah. up here on the right. Yeah, we are going to Providence. Angelo and Joe, I think you both know Chef Smarusti. Of course, Chef. Howdy. James Beard Award winner and owner of Providence. Michael Simarusi has one of the most highly acclaimed seafood restaurants uh, in all of the United States. I'm excited and a little bit intimidated to see what we have to do here. I think Michael's probably the perfect chef to figure out which one of you deserves another shot at this. You both went home for cooking really not so good seafood dishes. And Michael's arguably one of the best seafood chefs in the world. And you tasted both these dishes too that sent them here, right? I did. Mm -hmm. Joe, I think you did a commendable job making a, you know, a flatbread on a beach, but then just a little bit too much going on and kind of buried the sea urchin. What was the spread on top of your flatbread, Joe? It was like an aioli I made. I thought that would act as kind of like the glue to hold down the clamps and everything. Glue is not a good word when it comes to food. <laughs> And Angelo, unless you were trying to make a first course and a dessert in one meal, which I don't think you were trying to, it was just way overly sweet. If one of our pastry chefs were to give me that dish, I would say you got to get some of the sugar out of it. It's just way too much. This tuna died in vain. It was just a piece of flesh in a sweet broth. I know you guys could both make better seafood dishes. Well, this is Last Chance Kitchen, so you have one more shot of redemption. Michael has edited down the possibilities and he's chosen some of his favorite things to work with. Here in front of us, we have live gooey duck, beautiful Moro Bay oysters, and then we have our own private label of Cetric caviar, which you can use. I have Seltus and Yuzu from the tree in my backyard. Awesome. These are the ingredients that put Michael four years in a row, number one in Jonathan Gold's one-on-one -on -one list. You guys ready? Let's do it. Yes, we are. You got 30 minutes, and your time starts now. I need to be sure not to overcomplicate this like I did with my flatbread and making the seafood the star of the show. For this challenge, I'm making pichuton warmed gooey duck. I'm very familiar with it, and 
and I feel like it's a safe choice uh, in something being able to cook properly and in the amount of time that we have. Cooking a seafood dish for Chef Mike is very intimidating. I know he has a dish on his menu right now using Celtus and gooey duck, but I know my technical skill at handling the gooey duck will really set my dish apart from Angelo's. Hey, Angelo, how's it going over there? Doing great, dude. Today I'm cooking soft scrambled eggs, served with caviar, a yuzu cream with a little jalapeno. Who doesn't love eggs and caviar, right? It's voluptuous and sensual and it's just creamy and warm. What I want to show the judges is that they respect the ingredient and that I tell the story of that in the most minimal way. So it's just really luscious dish. For my dish, I want to take the celtus, the top romaine leaves, turn that into a puree with some brown butter. Then I'm going to aerate that puree in an ISI canister, make it light, and so it doesn't overpower the flavor of the gooey duck. We got the chargers for these. And show. Charger. Time management is super important, so I need to make sure that those eggs are super hot and the cream is ice cold. It's really kind of like a yin and yang dish. What's shaking? Oh, you know, just doing too many things like I always do. <laughs> a lot can go wrong with gooey duck clam. If you're not careful in slicing it thin or in the right direction, it's going to be a little crunchy, it's going to be a little too chewy, and it's not going to have that really amazing mouthfeel and texture. Gooey duck is very finicky. If Joe knows how to cook this gooey duck, like, I'm in serious trouble here. Gooey duck all over the floor. Hey, Joe, you're turning the gooey duck into tile fish. <laughs> Chef, what are you making? A big mess. How are you cooking the gooey duck? You're well, I blanched it. I took the skin off, but I love the flavor of this bichichon. So I want to see if I can get that on there. Otherwise, I'm just going to serve it completely raw. What do you have going on over here? Uh, this is going to be a little Celsius and shiso puree. Okay. Did you think at all about doing something just like like a cold, simple, like real seafood forward dish? I think this will be seafood far. OK. OK. Good. Boom. All right. Oh. I'm not feeling very confident in my dish. This is a bit of an O. Oh. Hey, Angelo. Hey, Chef. How are you? Good. So what are you making? So I'm going to focus on just simplicity. I did a soft scrambled egg, equal parts egg and butter, seasoned some espalette, uh, which was here in the kitchen with a little salt. Yes. What's your seafood? What's that? What is your seafood? Uh, the caviar. Caviar, OK, yes. got it. I'm going to do it with a layer of caviar and then a yuzu whipped cream. There is no sugar in this dish, just so you know. No sugar in this dish. That's probably smart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to me, if I was going to serve warm scrambled eggs, in 10 minutes, I would start them. I'm going to add a little later. bit. I'm going to mount it with a little bit more butter to get more unctuousness, and then that will regulate the temperature as well. OK. okay. Good. Thank All you right, so much. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. I overhear Angelo making soft scrambled eggs with caviar. Classic combination. But is he playing it a little too safe? I don't know. It could go either way. Chef, Chef, two minutes left. As I'm plating, I'm just shaking. It's really critical that everything is harmoniously layered. 30 seconds, Chef. 30 seconds. I'm worried. Are my ratios right? Do I have the right amount of puree? Is the right amount of gooey duck on there? I want to get back into the competition. I can't blow it. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Guys, grab your dishes and meet us in the dining room. Chefs. Thank you. I like shaking. Here you go, chef. I'll just put that. What did you make? So I wanted to show restraint and let the caviar shine. So I did a yuzu cream, served with the caviar, and just a soft, soft scrambled egg. If you're showcasing caviar, why is there more egg than caviar? The way that I look at it is the, the egg is kind of like the surfboard, and the caviar is like the person on the surfboard, and it's kind of like accentuating the caviar flavor. It's nice and creamy. I like that you put just like a tiny little Brunoise jalapeno in there, because I think it's like served to sort of offset the creaminess of the eggs and the richness of the caviar. Joe, what did you make for us? I made a gooey duck clam with a saltus puree, a little bit of yuzu zest. I don't know if that green puree did anything for the gooey duck itself. And you did handle the gooey duck beautifully. It's just a question of, like, why, why cover it with that puree? I wasn't trying to hide the gooey duck, but I wanted, to, I wanted the cream to be the warmest part, so that was the last thing I put on top. But it could have been underneath. It could have been. The saltus is such a nice ingredient, I don't know why you puree it. And if you're going to, I still would rather see some hole 
I, I think been a, a better way to represent that vegetable. I kind of like that nuanced flavor. It's like you're not really sure what it is, but it's something there uh, on the back note. OK. Both of you were sent home for making overly complicated seafood dishes and clearly got the message because these dishes were much more on point, clearly edited down, and you gave us some good flavors. Angela, you gave us a, a dish that's really classic. Uh, soft scrambled eggs, caviar on top, uh, a little twist with the yuzu cream on top. All in all, you know, a good dish. You set out to create a dish that was like simple and nuanced, and I think you pulled that off. Maybe the temperature range wasn't quite what you thought it would be, but overall, it was a successful two or three bites. Joe, the gooey duck, is, it's a, a tough ingredient to use. I think you figured out a way to use it nicely. It was nice and tender. Sort of rearranging those ingredients would have helped a little bit. The sliced gooey duck, as thinly as you did slice it, is much more beautiful than that puree that you laid over the top of it. But overall, you were able to show restraint and create a dish that was you know, pretty striking. I, I think one dish that, that is exemplified focused on the product, did a better job all around of really sort of honoring that, clearly edited everything down, gave us a really wonderful dish. Joe, I'm driving you back to Last Chance Kitchen. Good job, Jay. One win under my belt. I'm ready to ride this wave and see how far it could get me. I want to get back into this competition. You know, Angela, you gave us a great dish, but it was almost more about the egg and less about the caviar, and the caviar was the product, but super dish. Great. Um, thanks. Thank you. It's definitely not the story that I would have written, but I'm a firm believer there's a bigger plan for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Good job. Thank you so Thank much, you Chef. Yeah. I've grown as, as a chef, and I'm just excited to get out there in life and inspire people. So this chapter with Top Chef is over, but I'm excited for my journey. One down. How many more? Uh, a few more. <laughs> <laughs> a few, few more to go. Michael, please. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Let's use your, your space, and I'll see you Good soon. Luck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go. Get your knives. <laughs>